what should we know about you guys after tonight's game? Um, just just the culture we're building here at the team with Coach Matt built here. Uh, just the guys he's brought in. Everybody's hungry and just playing with a lot of intensity. Bryce? Of his answer. Yeah, your buddy. <laughs> uh, we just a, a group of guys, you know, we just met over the summer, but we gelled right away and we all came here. Me, Demarcus, and uh, Javon, as soon as we told them, we trying to leave here, you know, make history. And they following along with it, and they understand what race of basketball is all about. And that's what we trying to continue on in history before we leave. You guys have been talking a lot about transition and practice for the last month. Uh, I mean, you guys at halftime had 23 transition points off turnovers. Is, are we going to expect to see this for the rest of the oh, season? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of athletic guys, as you saw tonight. You know, like DeMarcus' athleticism is probably the best in the OVC, in my eyes. And we going to run. You know, I learned a lot from last year, and me being a point guard for the team, I want to push the ball, quick hitters, and that's how we just that's just how we gonna play. Um, a teaching moment. I saw you pull Dupree there to the side on one of his fouls. I know he fouled out. I, are, what sort of bumps do you guys expect with this type of transition and with this type of defense that you guys are gonna run? Uh, the guys just gotta settle down. You know, it's their first time out there. Uh, not knowing what to expect at first, you know, you get anxious just to play. And I'll just tell them just to, you know, just slow down, calm down, and everything will just follow along. You know, I had problems like that last year, rushing into a lot of things, and I figured it out late into the season. And that was the, the best time around playoff time. And everything just slowed down for me. And that's when I was putting up, you know, good numbers and trying to help the team win. Regardless of the opponent, um, you guys still shot almost 60 percent tonight. Just uh, what do you attribute the active shooting to? I'm uh, just getting to the rim and finishing, run, running in transition, um, getting guys open shots. I mean, Bryson Stark did a good job finding us in transition. People don't put a lot of stock in, in exhibition games, but last year obviously didn't come out the way you wanted. This year scored 100 plus points. Illinois State's up, big team. W what is this kind of going to do going into next week? Uh, you go ahead. Uh, it's giving us a lot of confidence. You know, that was our first game, really playing against somebody else. And for these new guys, like, the way we practice, like, we try to face a lot of adversity. And, you know, we got Illinois State coming in here next week, and we know it's at hand. They're supposed to be called the top 50 team in the program, and we up for any task. Like, this team not going to back down from nobody, and I just can't, can't wait. DeMarcus, so uh, you had two or three opportunities tonight to take an open three, and instead you either dribbled and passed or just took it to the rim. I, is that your mission this season, just to attack the rim? Uh, I'm, I'm just playing to my strength. My strength is getting to the basket, running in transition and finishing. I mean, I'm not much big of a three-point shooter, but if I have to step up and knock it down, I will. But I'm just I'm just more of just running the transition, um, being a defensive guy, and just playing my role. As uh, two seniors, what was it like to see Gilbert Thomas just <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm so happy for that Man. kid because, you know, he had a tough process, learning a lot, and he's coming along very well. He's going to be a great guy here. And as y'all saw tonight, y'all seen the potential that he can have, like, for for the races. And seeing him score that many points and being hyped up, us juicing him on, giving him energy, good encouragement, it's just fun to see and just fun, like, just to be his teammate and to cheer him on. Bryce, have you, have you talked to G, and what are his spirits like right now? Oh, I mean, he's, he's fine. He tweaked his ankle, I think, a bit. Somebody got, so he rolled on his ankle. Some guy rolled on his ankle. He a little banged up right now, but... I, uh, Efre gotta gotta do you know some tricks to get him back for Friday because we need him. How did it feel to play with Brian again after he went out last year? It felt good, you know. We got somebody down there that could block shots. <laughs> like you know, he makes up for a lot of mistakes, a lot, and it's just good to have him back and seeing him run like a deer again. <laughs> what were you guys learn from a game like tonight? Uh, just from to the tape and just from your own experience. What what are some of the takeaways and what's the learning process tonight? Um, just what we have to do defensively. Um, just we just got to communicate a little better on the defensive end. Uh, you seen at, at the last about eight to ten minutes, we gave up a lot of open threes in the um, two-three zone, and just just running back on defense, transition defense, and converting to the ball, and everybody getting to the ball and helping out the guys on the island. Have you guys made uh, getting the free throw line more of a priority this year? I mean, 33 free throws, free throw attempts, and you guys, you know, hit. Hit a pretty good percentage of them tonight. So I mean, has it been? Is there more of an emphasis on that? This I mean, yeah. Uh, the rules have changed. You know, once again, they got new rules, and 
with this team that works to our advantage. You know, we got got a guy like myself, got Starks, Crafty, you got uh, Croak right here. You know, good finisher, good good attacker. Uh, we can go down the line. You know, we got guys that can make plays. So the the way that the the game is being called now, it benefits us. So we just want to be aggressive.